are to writing. I can't tell you how many dissertations I am reading where I think the person researched, copied something, stuck it in, stuck something else in, whether it's a paraphrase or a direct quote, and there's no attachment. Those things have to attach. So for me, when I'm planning, here is going to be in this first spoke on each wheel some type of a transitional word that's taking me from previous statement to the next one. So what can we put there? First reason you refer to another father figure. Well, we want to be careful saying that. We're telling the story of how he was loyal, right? Can we say in the beginning of the story? Mm -hmm. Why can't we? Because he didn't come up, come to Lyra in the beginning of the story. Can we say something about the fact when Lyra first met him? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. How about we do these first, and then we'll pick a word that fits there. Yeah. Does that make more sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. OK, so loyalty. We have three examples we talked about earlier. The first one, who has that? Cliff 209. Is that you, Samantha, or Morgan? Morgan. Okay, um, Morgan. When, on 209, when York took Lyra to see Tony, when no one else wanted to go there. Okay, so if we put page 209 there, and then all we have to do is put Tony. You've marked it in your book, right? Mm -hmm. You know where it is. If you take too much time, kids, writing too much in here, I found that when I was out the seventh grade, the first day I was out, I was still able to function, yeah. and I was trying to help the substitute, which I believe was Miss Kish, and then Mrs. Fedor tried to pick up the next day, and then my world fell apart. But what I found when I came back is that they had entire quotes typed in. Mm. If you do that, like on an air test, you're never gonna finish your essay. So what you wanna do is put your more than likely there, it's gonna be like the article and the paragraph number, because they're gonna be shorter. But all you need is like a page number and a prompt word that shoots you in the right direction, okay? So what's the next one? The one on page 291. Okay, we have something on 291, and what's that about, Kira? It's um, when she saw your again, so she came back to her at Golden Cross. Okay. So he came back for her. And I will put something here about Baldinger or Baldinger to remind us where we're at so we can find 
find that on that page. Okay. And then what was the last piece of evidence we found? Um, on page 340, um, when she's at Bowling Yard and um, she's with the bears, um, he's hurrying back to her. Okay. He's hurrying back to her because she's with the bears. That part I wasn't here for. That's one of my favorite parts of the book when she manipulates that creepy bear. Uh, Yulfur. Yeah. It's the same Rachnison or something. something like that. I love that part of the book. It's gross, but I like that she's able to manipulate him into thinking that she's going to be his, de his demon. All right, so now, given the fact that we have you're going with Lyra to be with Tony when no one else would. We have him coming back to Ballvanger to get her, right? Yeah, to save her. And then here, later on, when she's with the Bear King and he is struggling to find her and catch up with her yeah. to rescue her, right? So how are we going to transition from this to this? <clears throat> what could we say? There are multiple times in the story when York proves his loyalty to Lyra. Okay. So I'm just going to put the word multiple. You remember all that, right? Sure. Right, Mallory, when we get ready to write. Okay. <laughs> 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 and, and finally, what would we close it up with if we wanted a powerful statement? He never did not his. He never left her for long, right? So we can just put something about, um, we'll just put never left, and then we'll take it from there when we type. For those of you at home, that says multiple. Page 209, Tony. Page 291, came back. Um, two ball banger. Was yeah. he going yeah. two? Yeah. She, okay. Page 340 was when he went to the Bears to rescue her, and then our last spoke is going to be the fact that he never left her alone. He yes. always came back to be with her. All right, so now our second, our, our second body paragraph, but our third wheel, is about the emotional connections. So let's plan out these three first, then we'll find a word that fits in here. Make sure you're listening because it's going to be floppy. All right, who had the first one here? <clears throat> Me. It was on 291, and it's the same one that Carrie used. York Bernardson cried Lyra, her chest nearly bursting open with joy. Okay, I'm going to, because this is more of the emotional impact of this situation, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to quote it, and I'm going to say, what did you say? Well, Mrs. Bernardson cried Lyra, her chest nearly bursting open with joy. Sorry. I said joy. I'm going to put your Bernardson dot dot dot, and then I'm going to put joy to kind of prompt us yeah. in the right place, okay? And I know I just wrote that way off the middle of the page, so let me fix it. How about I just put, was it our heart bursting with joy? Yeah, for chest. That's a heart. For those of you who don't know how to draw them, that's how it's done. Okay. All right, what was the next one? Colton? We're gonna, I'm going to do this because you can see it. On page 351, we have... Lever watched, hardly daring to breathe, and squeezing her hands together to like, tighten hers. And that's um, when York is fighting. I so the bear fight? The bear fight. I can yeah. put the bear fight, and we'll find that quote. You've got it marked, right, Colton? Yes. Okay, good. So that's when she is emotionally nervous because York is fighting Yofer, right? I think that's how they're pronounced. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, and then the last one. Oh, sorry. Um, on page 387, 
uh, when they're at the bridge, it's the girl with her heart thumping painfully with love, and it's her love for your eyes. Okay. And that's when he's staying and she's going, or is it when, he's when going he can't go? Yeah, he can't, he can't go. He can't right. the bridge. Because he's too big, right? All right, so now we need something here. We have to squeeze a prompt word here to introduce this. Now, once again, we're transitioning. You have to find a way to transition from each paragraph and then within those paragraphs as well. And then we need some powerful conclusion there. So give me an idea. <laughs> Love went beyond that loyalty that he had for her. Like their yeah. their feelings went beyond the loyalty because now you're taking this loyalty, you're going to tie it here, so we can say something about the feelings. I'm going to put feeling, feel, and loyalty. You guys write feelings beyond loyalty for me so that you can see it and you can remind me when we get there to type. <coughs> and powerful word that we can include in the sentence at the end. What are you thinking, Bryce? You usually have a big word. Undeniable. Undeniable. And how about this word? <laughs> like their bond. Yeah. And could we tie this? The, the emotional connection between the two created an undeniable bond. Somebody remember that when we go to type, please? Because I oh, will so forget. Me too. Well, Thank you. All right. I apologize, those of you at home that cannot read that. Hopefully you were paying attention. We've done our first um, body paragraph, which is our second wheel. It's multiple, page 209, Tony. 291, came back to Ballbanger, page 340, um, when he went to where the bears were and then he never left her. The emotional connection, um, our transition is uh, some, the feelings going beyond loyalty, so I have feelings and loyal. 291 is her heart was filled with joy. 351 was the bear fight. And 387 was when her heart was pumping because they were, they were parting ways. And then our closing sentence will have something to do with the bonds being undeniable. You good? All right, I'm stopping the tape. You guys are opening up your document I shared with you, and we're going to get it started.